and we're gonna be exploring in the Sawtooth Mountains for three days. We've never been to the Sawtooth Mountains before. Didn't it look like a mountain lion to you? We gotta go. Ow. Don't run. Oh gosh, this is terrifying. I'm chased by the freaking lion. Good morning from the Sawtooth Mountains. Any good morning in the van starts with what we call tea time, where we just sit down with a hot drink, sometimes breakfast, and we just chat. We enjoy the surroundings. Uh, we're in a very beautiful camping spot. Central Idaho is really, really beautiful. Like, I didn't know what to expect when I came here, but I've been pleasantly surprised. Good morning everyone. We are at the Iron Creek Trailhead and today I'm going on a solo adventure because unfortunately Alex broke his toe two weeks ago, which is a huge bummer right before our recreational van life summer. So we are just modifying it. I'm gonna be doing some recreation on my own until his toe is up to snuff. I'm gonna be hiking to Goat Falls and Goat Lake and it's about eight something miles. Definitely a late start for a hike, but let's head out. So while Liz gets to go on a beautiful hike all by herself, I have to stay in the van and I do have some work to do on the van. So I'll be doing that today. All right guys, so here's me vlogging on my own. I have Alex's hunk of camera backpack. Definitely a little big for me. Alrighty, I'm like, how on earth does he take this hiking all the time? All right guys, so I came to a fork turned left as a blog said. I'm literally using a blog for this because I didn't download the map ahead of time. None of the signs actually indicate Goat Lake. From what I understand, it's an off the beaten path hike. So I think that's why. I'm a little nervous though seeing this crossing right now. So I guess I'm gonna make my way across that. I don't see anything else. Oh gosh, that would kill me with this camera. Wow, this doesn't seem right, really right. Oh my goodness. This is so wobbly. This can't be it. I honestly have no idea how to get across this. All right, so some of you may be wondering how I broke my toe. And the answer is because I'm clumsy. I literally walked into a railing at a swimming pool and my toe was all like bent out of position. It was awful looking. But about two weeks in now, it's starting to feel a little bit better. I'm not limping quite as much, but I don't get to do all those fun activities with Liz. So now I'm gonna start by caulking the floor trim. I know, it's super exciting. Guys, I made it across. It was super sketch. I didn't even attempt to film it because honestly, that would've been impossible. I went a kind of roundabout way. Now I'm headed up to Goat Lake. But look at those sawtooths behind me. Look at that behind me. Woo. It's a big old world. So what did I miss? Just made it up a big hill. Now it's kind of leveled out. Honestly, this has been so nice. I did a hike by myself in the Tetons, which we actually didn't do a vlog on, but we went to the Tetons for like a week. Mostly to decompress, but I did an amazing hike there. Saw tons of animals. And I just was amazed at how like better mentally I felt. I think there's something about being outside by yourself in nature, like with only your own thoughts to process, no other sounds that's super like meditative. And I don't know, I just felt the best I had in a long time after that hike. All right, I finished the caulking for the most part. Doesn't look fabulous. I might have to do another run through at another point. But uh, now I'm going to be installing a light switch over here where that hole is. Definitely doesn't work as well as a heat gun.
starting to see some gorgeous mountains poking through these trees. There's a waterfall. I'm starting to feel kind of bad for Liz right now because I'm definitely hearing it raining and I think it's a pretty muddy trail already because it rained heavily last night. So hopefully she's okay. All right guys, well we had some bad weather come in. Um, so definitely started raining. I'm on a scree slope. Some blog, the one blog I screenshotted said go down a hundred feet in elevation to get the best view of the falls. I think I've gone down further than that, so I'm a little worried. I'm not showing the directions after that. Wish me luck. All right, guys, I have the waterfall behind me. I'm definitely getting a little worried about this weather. I keep hearing thunder and it's raining quite a bit. A little nervous about that, especially not knowing where I'm going at all. Honestly, I have not a clue if I'm doing this right. Head up a random scree slab thing and hoping this leads to Goat Lake, but definitely not sure. I'm really hoping I went the right way. If not, I'm definitely leading people the wrong way. There's not even like herons, like a lot of, you know, unmaintained trails have. There's just nothing. All right guys, I am at Goat Lake right now. It just started raining. I just had lunch out on that rock. It's definitely frozen over and it's quite thick. So I'm guessing, I did this June 20th today. That's what today is. Um, I'm guessing it will de-thaw in like, honestly, three to four weeks. It's that like solid looking, but it's beautiful up here. Woo I'm gonna go head down, took me way longer than planned. Hopefully Alex isn't too worried about me because I'll be much later than planned. It's snowing, definitely snowing. All right, I'm just gonna book it down so I don't think I'm gonna vlog much. So I'll just catch you at the trailhead. Okay, well, the weather changed already and there's a freaking rainbow behind me. That's awesome, it's so gorgeous. I don't even think the camera picks it up well. But that is just insanely gorgeous. Wow. All right, guys, I finished the hike. I don't think I was able to capture really well the treacherous bits because filming yourself when you're in those treacherous bits just doesn't work. But anyways, we're done. It was a beautiful hike, definitely early season. If I was to recommend this to someone, I would say go later in the season and definitely download the GPS tracks. That was not a great decision, especially for a solo hike. But now we're back at the van. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good afternoon, everyone. We are at Redfish Lake here in the Sawtooth Mountains, and we're hoping that my toe is good enough to at least sit down while we're paddleboarding. That is freezing water. It's honestly insane. There's jagged peaks right in front of us. There's hardly anyone on this lake. It's crazy. Whew, almost fell. All right, we're gonna have a little lunch stop. We've got our paddle boards together using our legs on each side. <laughs> We've done this before. Um, lunch is nothing special. It's our Beyond Meat jerky stuff that we've now fallen in love with. It's a really good plant-based jerky and like nuts and stuff. And we have a beautiful view. Stuff is really good. It has been an absolutely perfect day for paddle boarding. The weather is just right. The scenery is amazing. I'm so glad that my toe let me do this today.
All right, we finished our paddle boarding trip. It was amazing, just absolutely perfect. And oh, it's just so awesome having this van and just, we've fantasized about this for years to just be able to go from place to place throughout the US with all of our recreation gear and you know, go paddle boarding in some random lake and we're finally able to do that. So I'm really happy about it. We will catch you up tonight. We are hoping to do some astrophotography because we are in a dark sky reserve here and I'm hoping to do some astro shots. So this is our shower setup right now. I haven't showered in a couple of days, but we have an outdoor shower because our indoor shower isn't quite finished yet. And it's nice because it has like this little pause button so I can, you know, let it go. And we do have hot water, so this is actually really nice. Yay. Cheek mat we're using. It's about time to cut this hair. What time is it? It's time to look at some stars. The stars are looking super bright, so I'm excited about this. Successfully made it up the hill, eh? Yeah, not too much pain. <laughs> you can't see on my phone at all. Oh, maybe you can see actually the stars. Um, but yeah, there's a really pretty Milky Way right there. I don't think I've ever seen a sky like this before. This is seriously insane. Like, I didn't really notice it until I turned all of the lights off and looked up, gave my eyes a chance to adjust. This is completely insane. I love dark sky reserves. A few moments later. Okay, we saw something moving over there. I, oh gosh, I don't see it now. Oh my goodness, it, it looked like, honestly, the movement seemed more like mountain lion. Yeah. Okay, honestly. I think we're done with astro shots for the night. <laughs> I'm like terrified right now. Okay, the key is. Wait, 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 wait. Alex, stay with me. No, we're, you're coming with me though. Oh, Did it look like a mountain lion to you? I don't know. All I know is that I saw a glowing eye. That was the only thing that I moved. It I was saw way moving. Way bigger than a coyote, that's for sure. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to the van. I'm like terrified that the mountain lion's gonna pounce at us. We gotta go. Ow. Don't run. Don't, honey, just keep moving. That's the thing. Keep moving. I can't do this punch. backwards down a hill. This terrifies me right now. It's different when it's in the dark. Yeah, we can't even see. Like, it definitely well, has the advantage. Okay. Hey! I, Alex! Too many cookies, you scared I, you're me. You're supposed to make noise, that's what, you, that's what you do. Where's the freaking road? Oh my goodness, honestly, the way it moved, honey, I think it was a mountain lion. And the noise made sense, because we, so we heard a noise earlier vlog. It sounded like a mountain lion. So I'm pretty sure that was a mountain lion. It was bigger than I anticipated. Oh gosh, this is terrifying. I'm chased by a freaking lion. Oh, thank goodness we're at the road. Okay. okay. Now just quickly, but calmly, and stay sure of yourself. This is so creepy seeing just the eye move. <laughs> Dude, I saw the body. I didn't even see the eye. I saw the body. Oh my gosh, I heard a noise. Thank goodness I didn't go up there by myself. I would have been a meal. I think it was definitely stalking us though. I know. Oh gosh. Get in. Get in. <sighs> We're safe. That was scary. Okay. All right guys, I'm at the Redfish Trailhead. I'm gonna do a little hike to end our time in the Sawtooth Mountains. We don't have Wi-Fi, so I can't research which hike to do, so it's gonna be a unknown adventure today. See you later, baby. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Just gonna follow this, I guess. So we are here, and I'm gonna make my way to Bench Lake, I think. I don't know how far it is or anything. 
Let's go. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. Like, honestly, perfect weather. I think it's in the low 70s right now. It's like, ooh, absolute perfection. All right, guys, just got to Bench Lake. It's beautiful. There's mountains around me. I'm gonna stop here, eat a little snack, and then head back down. Right, well, ignore that last one. <laughs> It looks like, um, according to Google Maps, there's another bench lake just down the way. So I'm gonna go a little bit further and check that out. All right, just left the last of the bench lakes. The last one's definitely the most beautiful. So definitely hit that up if you come here. So I'm glad I went there. All right, guys, just finished the hike and back at the van, home, van home. <laughs> And uh, ended up being about eight and a half miles. Um, and I did it in like just a little over three hours, I think. So not too bad. So now we are leaving the Sawtooth, sadly. So on our way, leaving the Sawtooth Mountains, we came across maybe the best campsite we have ever come across because we have this entire area all to ourselves, this beautiful flowing river. So we're gonna camp here for the night. It's, it's amazing here and we decided to dip in this water, which is ice cold, but it was still very refreshing. This is gonna be a great campsite tonight. <laughs> sure it's just my upper half in here? Yes. <laughs> just dripped. <laughs> Oh man, be careful landing that thing. Wait, don't, don't get your hands. What the heck? You don't want to just land on your board? Ah, oh, this is nerve wracking. Come on, go. Yay. Is that terrifying? Let's see. 9% battery left. Oh my goodness, that was scary. 